What is going on, everyone? I uh, want to send a big, big thank you out to everyone from joining. I know we've still got a lot of folks who are filtering in. Uh, good, good music choice, too, by the way, team. I, I like that. It, it got me a little pumped up there. So, uh, again, big thank you to everyone. Appreciate you taking out, you know, a whole four hours, half day today to really invest in yourself. And this next, you know, set of, I think we've got about 10 speakers, is really, you know, my response and kind of why I picked the people that we picked was really my response to during the first week of all of these, this going down about a month ago, I talked to about 30 CEOs, sales leaders, people in the trenches. And what I found is that there are really people in, in three buckets. There were people that were in industries that were doing really, really well. You know, they were Slack, Microsoft Teams, those types of industries, um, or they sold into uh, healthcare or something. There were, in, there were people that were in industries that were doing not so well. You know, people that sold into, um, you know, travel, tourism, et cetera. And, and, but what I really saw is that most leaders were in this middle, this middle of like, I don't know what to do. I'm not sure what to do. Like we're, we're going the nurture route, but we want to do more sales and we're trying to pivot. And, and so really I started to think, and I talked to the team and about putting together, you know, a paid event where we could, you know, do this whole thing. And then, and then we really talked through and, and decided that what, what people really need is something that's going to help all of us who are in the middle. And that's probably a lot of us who are like, I'm not, things aren't really, really, really bad. And we're not going like gangbusters, but we're somewhere in the middle. And we need to understand what to do to move forward. And so that's really, you know, my reason why I, you know, kind of handpick this group of people that we've got coming up, because these are people that I think whether you're an executive and you're trying to think, hey, what is, what is it going to look like today? And when we come out of this, whether you're, you know, deep in the front lines, you've got some really cool sessions. If you're you know, a geek on the tech or if you're a geek on, you know, rewriting your sequences or cadences. Um, and then we've got, you know, other sessions talking about, you know, using mediums that are really focused on where our buyers live today and how do we adapt to, to this new world. So I just want to tell everyone sincerely from the bottom of my heart, I really am, am super excited for the rest of the sessions today. If you don't know me, I'm Jake Dunlap. I'm the CEO of Scaled Consulting, and we're really excited to bring you uh, the event that you're going you're gonna to really, really enjoy over the next four hours. So I'm going to kick things off before I turn it over to some, you know, some really, really great, amazing people. And I'm going to try to kind of talk through the trends that I've seen. And from, you know, my experience and all of these conversations, um, you know, what, what I've really gleaned over the last month, you know, and, and as, you know, as someone who it's my job as the CEO of a consulting company to be in front of trends, right? My job is to, basically help you to, you know, see in front of the things that I'm not seeing, right? Or the things that, that you might be seeing. So let me make sure I can grab control here. All right. I think we're, I think we're good now. So I'm going to click through your controlling. All right. So, so I want to kind of kick things off with, with this, this, you know, we'll call it insight. And, and as I kind of take a few, a little bit here to reflect is, um, you know, I'm thinking about over the last three to four years, and I think about, you know, the, the most recent adaptation and evolution that we have had in our sales world has been focused around really our own internal processes that, you know, really over the last five years, let's call it, where sales technology has really come into kind of a core part of our day to day, this big, big, big evolution um, has been us focusing on our own internal world and not adapting to our customers' world. And so we've really, you know, kind of been in our own little zone for the last three to four years, you know, and, and a lot of sales leaders or a lot of salespeople, you know, maybe this, this resonates a little bit that we've been so focused on our own world that we haven't been as focused on maybe our customers' world and really our focus on, the, the needs of our customers and how those things adapt. And so in, in this new world, we have to start to 
kind of go back to go forward, we have to adapt to our customers' needs above all. And like I said before, I think we've been a little stagnant in really pushing this to the forefront. That, that really for the last bit here, this last evolution of sales, we were so focused internally that we haven't been paying attention to how rapidly our customers' needs have been adapting. And so because we've been so stuck in this like iterate my own little world, we haven't watched all the trends that have happened with our customers. And so when our customers' trends now have pivoted so hard and so abruptly, we're, we're struggling to understand how to continue to keep up with that. And so I'll give you a good example here. This is a, a conversation I had probably three and a half weeks ago on a webinar. There's a gentleman who chimed in with a Q&A and he said, Jake, I run an office furniture company. We're at, he's like, it's over. It's like, there's nothing we can do. Nobody's buying. And I sat there and I pulled up his website and, and he sells those like, you know, those like high back chairs and these fancy desks and things. I'm like, dude, you're in the home office business now. Like you should be reaching out to every CEO, every executive, everyone who cares about their employees' well-being and ergonomics to then pivot to that. And this was such a radical idea. And I've had versions of that conversation hundreds of times over the last, you know, call it three, four weeks where we're so used to just thinking about this one thing that we're executing that we're really struggling to think about what are the other use cases? How do I adapt my, my needs to my customer's business? And so as we, we think to this next phase, and, and this, is, this has already existed, my friends, you know, we have these new buyers who expect different things from you as a marketing and sales organization. We have millennial buyers are involved in 70% of decisions. And so are you meeting them with where they're at? Are you active on social and your sales team's active on social? Are you meeting them on text message, right? Are we adapting, are we giving them information quickly at their fingertips? Are we continuing to put up, you know, uh, gates and, you know, enter in your email address in this big form fill that nobody wants to fill out, right? New technology, right? I talked at the very beginning here about, uh, you know, to me, technology is one of the most important things for you as sales leaders and sales people to master, but you can't let it be what controls you. Technology is there to enable you, to enable you to do more. And then finally, we, we've got to think about these new mediums where our customers are every single day. Like LinkedIn, for example, 91%, 91% of B2B executives say it is their go-to place for professional development. 91%. And so if I think about kind of like, you know, where we're at now, it's really, are we adapting fast enough, right? Every day there's 128 million business emails sent right? I'm guessing that that's more like 160 million with everything, you know, that we're going through now, right? There's so many, so many, so many different sales uh, calls that are happening, right? Robo calls, other sales calls that we are not, we're continuing to go back to what we know, right? And we're continuing to go back to what is safe, what can be tracked and what we're comfortable measuring. And as we think about where we go from here, and, and this is where I'm super, super excited for this event in particular is the mindset that to, to meet our customers where they're at, we have to start to think about effectiveness over efficiency. And for the last four years, five years in, in marketing and sales, we have been so focused on can I track it and can I create a widget to optimize it that we have forgot that the goal is actually outcomes. And at the end of the day, it's about creating the right outcomes for us from a sales organization standpoint and for our customers. Your customer doesn't care about efficiency. They don't care about how efficient your team is and all, all these different handoffs that help to reduce your cost of sale by 8%, but for them creates a horrible customer experience. They don't care about a signed contract. The customer cares about power usage. And, and we've, we've lost sight of that with all of these different focuses on efficiencies. We've lost sight of our customer's effectiveness and our own internal effectiveness trumps everything. And so as we go forward, you know, uh, in this new kind of world, in this next evolution of sales, which is what's happening right now. What's happening right now is not just a point in time. What's happening right now is the beginning of the next evolution of sales. 
where before, you know, we were very much focused on, you know, challenger relationship building. We got all these technologies. We over-focused on being able to execute buttons and removing the people. And now as we go forward, it's a mix of both. And, and, and what we need to do is we have to start to put, this is a good, Richard, Richard Harris is the first person who kind of turned me on to this, this analogy and I, I just have latched onto it and love it, that we, we have to focus on effectiveness over efficiency, right? And it's not that, you know, it's there, there's a balancing act here, but this is where a lot of us need to be spending our time and focus. And the key here is like, look, this is not going to be easy to do. All right, here we go. So it's going to take hard work. And so what I mean by that is for a lot of you that this is a big mindset shift, right? That the, some of the things that, that you see here, my friends, these are things that you've probably heard about, but are we really doing it? How many of you and sales leaders, I want to challenge you, marketing leaders, I want to challenge you and founders more than anyone. If I sat down and you sell into VP of finance, I sat down a VP of finance at an industrial manufacturing organization that you sell into, right? Or whatever it is. How many of you actually even know what that person specifically is going through versus a VP of finance at a tech company or a VP of finance at an insurance company? The amount of, of additional insights and depth we're going to have to go into to get to know our buyers is going to be more than ever. And so this idea of research or customer is not anything novel or new, but I actually mean that as we look forward and, and as I see the trends in sales and as we as a consulting organization are staying on top of this, that it's going to be required. You're going to have to be able to know what your buyer's going through and pivot to this buyer's use case, this, 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 this versus VP of finance. So if you're in sales, you know, make sure you're picking an industry that you actually like and you, you, you want to go deep on. And I think that's an important piece. Um, you're gonna have to connect with your customers where they are at. You're gonna have to connect with them on text message. You're gonna have to connect with them on LinkedIn or other social media channels, right? You're gonna have to be an expert on your customer's problems, right? Versus executing your own little play internally, right? And we have to use technology to optimize our process, not, not to take it over. And we've got to move away mindset wise from this one size fits all, sending mass messages with the same generic, generic messaging and half-assing our efforts. And you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. All of you know that if you took a little bit of extra time to do research in your marketing campaigns, if you took a little bit of extra time in your outreach, you know, in what you're thinking and, and like the way that you're going to craft your messaging to then customize it, it's a better experience for everybody. And this is the world that we have to move to. Right. And not this fake personalization at scale, which is what a lot of us think whenever we insert these terrible custom fields, but really training our marketing and sales organizations to really understand where and how to communicate with our buyers. And, and this is going to start with all of you, right? That each individual, all change happens with people on the front lines doing weird stuff and breaking things, right? It doesn't happen from some macro, your boss just blesses you with innovation. That's not how it works right? If you look at innovation in almost every organization, Apple, et cetera, there's one designer, there's somebody or group of engineers that drives the innovation. And so all of you have an opportunity and hopefully, you know, my desire is that you use today as a catalyst for that, is that you use today as a catalyst to start to say, hey, you know, when I sit down at my desk, I just invested four hours of my life yesterday with some amazing people. Uh, I might do things differently today. Right. And, and I'm going to kind of leave you with this and, and I'm going to turn it over to the team so we can get cranking. But in this old world, we've been so focused on incremental changes. How can I get 1% here, 2%, 3% and focused on people executing this thing that we know will get us 2% better than the last thing. And we're focused on making this tweak or this tweak versus monumental leaps. And I think, a lot of you have to start to decide when you look at your marketing plan, your company forecast and plan, your sales plan, you as a, a, an individual contributor, whatever your day-to-day -day looks like, are you setting yourself up to make monumental leaps or continuing to make incremental changes? Because that's not how 
big things happen. And we're in the middle of the very, very, very beginning. We're at step 0.25 right now of what's going to be this big monumental leap from a sales standpoint, where before it was this big push into technology. Now it's going to be, how do we utilize it to meet our customers with where they are? And so I think I want all of you to really take this one slide from me today home and take this to heart. I want you to sit down at your desk tomorrow morning. Um, and I want you to think, what am I doing to make a monumental leap forward and adapt to my customers and pivot my business or pivot my messaging hard to meet them individually where they're at versus continuing to make some of those incremental changes. And so with that, I want to thank you all again, so, so much. This is going to be a really amazing four hours and then make sure you stick around. Unlike other kind of webinars, what we've done is something that I think is, is really cool, which is every single one of the speakers is going to be around after to do a private Q and A with you. So unlike another you know, session where you've got to wait in line at those long conferences, you're going to be, have access to everyone. They've all, you know, I think they've said they're going to grab a glass of wine, a beer or something, depending on what time zone they're in, um, where you're going to get a chance afterwards to, to do some one-on-one -on -one times with each one of the, the speakers. And so again, I really want to thank all of you for, for taking this time out, investing in yourselves. And I really want you to take what I just talked about to heart, that our customers and, and our buyers needs have evolved and we've got to break the mindset and these bad habits we've gotten into just executing and think about those monumental leaps. So thank you again, everyone. I'm going to turn it over to Ali Ray Thompson uh, from our brand team to kick off the day. And she's going to be your MC uh, for the rest of the sessions.